from the past two days we have been discussing about distress to de-stress and today is the third five minute session in this series so let's quickly discuss an interesting uh, uh, formula for de-stress and today as i said yesterday i have brought one interesting uh, uh, artwork for you and what is this yes it's very uh, interesting to see this and as the caption says the only person that can save you is you if you want to see that person who can actually bring about a transformation in your life you just have to go and stand in front of the mirror that means uh, the person who can really help you to get out of stress in all situations is your own self now why am i saying this shouldn't we take help from others yes we can take help from others but ultimately finally the person who has to act is you isn't it you may get lot of inspiration motivation from different sources but finally who is the one who can actually put all those motivations into action and bring about the required transformation that is other than your own self isn't it the only person that can save you is you there is some lot of okay i would like to quote from the bhagavad gita in the chapter 6 verse number 5 lord krishna says uddhare datmatmanatmanam atmanam avasadaye atmaiva hi atmano bandhur atmaiva ripuratmanah which means a man must elevate himself by his own mind not degrade himself the mind is the friend of the conditioned soul and his enemy as well so where is the enemy sitting dushman kaha hai dushman bagal mein hai the greatest enemy sitting within us the uncontrolled mind so we have to mind is a very powerful tool we can use it either to elevate ourselves or degrade ourselves right now in the sub- next verse lord krishna says उट therefore i said the only person who can save you is your own self now if the mind is uh, uh, not in control so who is responsible for that it is me suppose you have a mobile phone right and the mobile phone belongs to you and uh, it starts randomly playing something now can we blame the mobile mobile phone why are you randomly playing something no you can't blame because mobile phone however latest upgraded version or model it might be finally it is controlled by a sentient being an intelligent person you are the one who is going to control the mobile phone similarly our mind is also a gadget and it is we who have to give direction to the mind now one simple thing that we could do to actually help the mind relieve itself of the stress self created stress is uh, an interesting principle called the principle of austerity or tapasya what is austerity to tame the mind we need austerity what is austerity voluntarily accepting some inconvenience for a higher purpose i repeat austerity means voluntarily accepting some inconvenience for a higher purpose just like a student 
voluntarily gives up playing during his exam times. You know it is difficult, it is inconvenient to give up playing, but still he knows higher purpose is there, examination is there, so I have to study. That's called austerity. So I would suggest all of you one interesting austerity. I don't know if you can, if you can do this, it will be very nice. What is that suggestion? Social media detox. Try being away from all social media for one week. Some of you might be thinking, oh, is it really possible? We have become so, we have become so addicted to see such things that we can't imagine our life before without this. But I'll tell you, you will actually feel very peaceful and your mind. You know, social media gives a lot of information bombarded from all directions. But if we can keep ourselves calm, keep ourselves away from this for at least one week, try it and see. And that can be an austerity for a higher cause. So what do you say? So with that, I come to the end of today's five-minute talk.